hello friends um, welcome back now we'll be doing problems from probability and uh, we are doing problems from 2074 re 109 cc set uh, this is problem 10a and here we have to find the probability of getting a card which is either divisible by 5 or 7 okay so um, any of these work um, so uh, let's write it down and uh, these kind of probability problems are very similar to what we do in sets okay um, and here we know that uh, from 1 to 30 the number that are divisible by 5 so I'll say that uh, I'll consider that uh, set F okay so f um, that is 5 10 15 20 25 30 and this gives an f equals to 6 that is number of um, number of uh, terms that are exactly divisible by 5 from 1 to 30 are 6 sorry i wrote down 60 um okay 6 and similarly set s means the seven of uh, factors of or multiples of 7 so here we have 7 14 21 and 28 so number of multiples of 7 are 4 so when we choose the card so we either need um, the numbers from this set or numbers from this set so we have total 10 right 6 and 4 so we have total 10 options out of 30 options so there are 30 cards so we have 10 options out of 30 options right so the probability is simply 10 out of 30 10 divided by 30 or 1 by 3 but we'll use the formula here um, now probability of 5 or 7 right so we either need 5 or 7 is uh, written as probability f union s or means union right and this is equal to probability of finding 5 separately plus probability of finding 7 separately and and we need to uh, take a moment to understand here so if um, there were any common factors or cam common multiples between these two for example if the set was from 1 to 40 then uh, there you there will be another number here 35 35 right so these two will be added and this number 35 is common on both so we need to subtract those here just like we did in set the uh, you know the formula for a union is n a plus n b minus n a intersection b so we need to subtract the, that intersection part but here we don't have any common factor so we don't need to write it here so this formula is enough so the probability of finding f means so we have total six terms which which can be uh, which are divisible by five and we have total um, 30 total terms right total cards that is our sample space so it will be six out of 30 plus um, four out of 30 so this gives 10 out of 30 so it is equal to one by three and uh, this is our answer and the other important thing I want to admit and uh, make you aware is that this term here uh, we generally use S for sample space right so um, you can use other term like X or Y or G or whatever you want to use uh, A B C something like that you can also use S that is not a problem but sometimes uh, you know you you might get confused uh, with these two terms like uh, when i was supposed to write the formula here and most of the books and even uh, in your uh, you know lectures or in other videos you might find that this ns or s means the sample space 
but uh, here we are considering this for the number of you know uh, probabilities or number of multiples of seven so don't get confused there okay so if you um, find it little confusing you can use the other terms okay great good luck